Hello and welcome to the How to Import on Disk IP with Calibre Interactive video. My name is James Paris and in this video I'll show you how to use Calibre Interactive to merge on disk IP with top level place and route data during physical verification. On disk IP includes design elements such as libraries, custom analog or digital blocks, and memories which are later referenced in the design hierarchy of a finished design. This IP is often represented as an abstract block and is left out of physical verification checks during place and route implementation, which can lead to late stage discrepancies at tape out. Importing IP data into place and route databases unnecessarily bloats the database and immediately becomes out of sync with any IP development updates. A better methodology is to keep the IP data on disk and use your Calibre sign off verification flow throughout implementation to verify the current routing and latest updates of the on-disk IP with the sign-off rules that you're going to run during chip finishing and tape out. Let me show you how easy it is to enable on-disk IP merging with the Calibre Interactive Interface. In this example, I'll show you how the flow works within Cadence Encounter Design Implementation System, although this will work in any supported place and route or custom design viewer. I've opened a small IP library in DesignRev so you can see the cells, uh, and the device layers listed in the layer palette. Now I'll launch Encounter and open my design. I'll start Calibre Interactive DRC from the Calibre menu and show you what happens without on-disk IP merging. My rule file is a simple deck which copies out the layers in order to illustrate the data that will not be checked if you use a methodology that doesn't enable on-disk IP merging. After the DRC job completes, we can see the list of checks with results in the Caliber RVE window. Notice that these are all routing layers, but do not include the device level layers we looked at in DesignRev. Now I'll add my on-disk IP library to the Caliber Interactive path and save it to the Caliber Interactive run set file, and then rerun Caliber DRC. Caliber merged the routing data and on-disk IP and memory so that we can produce output for these checks. When running Caliber Interactive within a design environment, it applies templates to some of the inputs and outputs after the run set's loaded. This is how we automatically specify the top cell and some of the input and output files. However, in this example, the templates will actually overwrite the changes I made in the file field of Caliber Interactive. So let me show you how to fix that. To save the on-disk merging into a run set file, we need to change the template. We do that by selecting Setup, Preferences, Templates, and then choosing the Inputs tab. Notice that the Layout Path field includes %L, which refers to the cell name of the design we currently have open. Now I'll add the on-disk IP library to the Layout Path line. Click OK and close Caliber Interactive to see if reloading the run set applies the new template setting. This time when I restart Caliber Interactive and load the run set, you can see the new template setting is preserved. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to import on-disk IP with Caliber Interactive. Thanks for watching.